that was that was yeah i would shout but i have six other flatmates ah who gives a shit about them i do um, i don't want, I yeah, don't want your head remember what number this is 12 that was actually correct i'm 12? pretty sure i'm I thought we sure. were further nah it's 12 i think Base well. Um, Jeez. Yeah, I don't, I don't. It doesn't. It's been. It's been it a while really matter for me. We, we've done because one so I only share a wall with a very months. quiet Asian girl. So you know, I'm sure she doesn't mind. Oh, I'm sure she Asian does. Girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, um, <laughs> I, I've well, what I moved in here like six or seven or eight or like two months ago or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> numbers numbers i don't know uh i've seen her about half a dozen times in two months wow so uh so you can say things are getting pretty serious yeah then. yeah yeah i'm uh <laughs> what the fuck was that that was me sneezing <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not like someone almost threw up yeah i get i get a lot of people question how i sneeze uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you tried to hold it in and almost puked everywhere. I basically do hold it in, like nothing comes out. Well, like, oh, okay, I, ex- right, I expect mind. snot or something. I guess I was told it was like, <laughs> uh, not dangerous, but like it's not good for you if like you hold your sneezes in. If that makes sense. You can get like a brain hemorrhage. Yeah, that would suck sometimes. Yeah. Are you shitting me? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like if it's a powerful sneeze and you hold it in, it like hurts your brain. You could uh supposedly pop your eye out as well. I I heard like someone told me once like you know how it's impossible to keep your eyes open like when you're sneezing. Yeah. Like someone someone once yeah. told me like if you like hold your eyes open while you sneeze, they'll pop out. I've heard that before Same. as well. But they say it's Maybe if you hold impossible. it in. Yeah. No, um, maybe. I I don't know. Yeah, well. that that's like weird. Like eyes are really weird. <laughs> they just kinda eyes, sit how do they work, man? Look around. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just like who just stares at people? No, on. but it's like really really weird though. If you if you think about like I could what well, no. I don't even <laughs> like my mind is like just so blown right now. Like I can't even. <laughs> they transform light into images in your yeah, brain. Yeah, I know. It's, that it's, is fucking it's like cool. They're like cameras, but not cameras. <laughs> they're they're like they're cameras for your brain. Yes, that should be on a shirt. <laughs> Eyes, they're like cameras, but not cameras. <laughs> but not cameras. <laughs> <laughs> all right then. That should be uh, our next T-shirt. All right. Fuck shit. All right. Um. Fuck shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> rocks float on. Hey, hey Jack. Jack. What? You have to, you have to give a thumbs up to anal, right? <laughs> just, just fuck shit. No, what? thumbs up to anal or thumb <laughs> up the anus. <laughs> I don't one. care. I get I a mean, feeling like, we miss something over yeah, here. Yeah, I think I missed something as well. I'd say, well, you know, that's like what anal is, pretty much. You're just like fucking shit. It's fucking shit. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so this podcast <laughs> took a turn. Yeah, this. So we're, um, we're like what? Four from minutes uh, in? sneezing to anal in five so minutes. I'm Jack. <laughs> I, uh, I'm Mikey. Uh, I'm supposed to be introducing everyone, but fuck it, you can just introduce yourselves. I'm Jasper. I'm Logan. <laughs> You're Jasper Logan. <laughs> yeah, we've become yep. one hive mind. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna end up like connected. You're like a giant the, uh, world. the grave mind tentacle plant thing. Grave mind. <laughs> well, fuck yeah, you in the ass, Mikey. <laughs> or, uh, isn't there a hive mind in StarCraft? You mean the Zerg? I don't think they're a hive mind. We're not, we're, we're not the cool tentacle monsters. We're, we feature in porn, mostly. <laughs> That's about it. Well, a part of us is featured in porn. <laughs> da, 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 yeah, da, just da, our tentacles. Hentai! Do, 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 do. <laughs> tentacle porn. <laughs> <laughs> the best kind. Isn't there some kind of like soda in like Japan that's called like tentacle grape or something? God, <laughs> probably. I mean, <laughs> Japan. Or no, that's like not that. what it's called. That's what that's what the flavor is called. It's it's tentacle. I'm pretty sure I saw it. Um, that'll be tentacle in, grape or rape. Grape, because it's like it's like grape because it's okay. Japan. Because it sounds. But like it's grape. it's grape flavored. Yeah. So that's why it's tentacle grape. Like tentacle grape. Hey, do you want to get tentacle grape? Oh, tentacle grape! 
<laughs> that was a bit loud. Yeah, that was that the a worst bit Japanese. <laughs> my, my like flatmates <laughs> are probably loud. wondering what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Weird. Fuck I'm glad I live eventually. at the other end of the fucking hall. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shit. Fuck them. Did we introduce everyone? Jack, me, Mikey. There's Logan and Jasper. Yeah. Yeah, we went through. I'm just yeah. clarifying for in case everyone like someone missed it or something. <laughs> So I'm, th- I'm kind of sad because if we recap, do, just a quick recap. If we do another uh, video podcast, like people won't get to see me bouncing up and down on like a giant green dick, like like last <laughs> time because I have Aww. like a solid chair now. Yeah, same. Sorry, oh, Tyler. Uh, yeah. So this is a podcast that we do. Yeah. Uh, Wh- which one was the video one? Was that ten? Yeah, that right? was or that, eleven. Yeah, that, that was ten. Eleven was Catherine was in eleven, wasn't she? That was like the first one Catherine was in. I think I was in eleven as well. I, that was the yeah, first one Catherine if, was uh, in. If no, she was in a couple was before she? that. I think she's only been in one. Yeah, I believe so. Let's check the video. Wasn't she in like eight or yeah, nine or something? If, uh, like if anyone listening couldn't tell, we haven't done this in a while. <laughs> yeah, it's currently Halloween and. Spoopy, too spoopy podcast. Halloween. That we shouldn't get no. I we shouldn't give this one a number. We should. Ju- it should just be like the chat room podcast, like too spoopy episode. <laughs> too spoopy. Yeah. Yeah, that that kind of goes well with the anal we talked yeah. about. <laughs> this is not episode twelve. <laughs> is it not? It's episode thirteen. It's not episode. We didn't do episode twelve, did we? Yeah, we did two months but, ago. Oh shit! No. <laughs> here you go, fucking here you go. No, fu- when did we do this? Did I? Was I in that? Oh shit! Dropping fact bombs. I don't get in school. I don't know, I'm, I'm look, gotta look through it, see if you fucking say shit. I probably do say shit. Um. Yeah, yeah, so you're definitely in it. Episode. <laughs> Fuck. So it's episode thirteen on Halloween. Yeah, How that's that? uh. It's also a Friday. That's, that's even more. Too We're spooky. all gonna get murdered, guys. Oh, you go, you guys are getting murdered. I'm not. I'm, sure I'm going. Me. I'm gonna die from alcohol. Holy shit! What? What? <laughs> I don't know why you got. <laughs> you we're talking about the number thirteen. <laughs> we're talking about the number thirteen, and then you guys said it was Friday, so I thought it was Friday the thirteenth. No, it's Friday the thirty-first. You're a complete Backward. moron. It's totally <laughs> yes, it's Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Woo! Too spooky. Uh, in uh, five days, it'll be Guy Fox night as well. I'm probably gonna get murdered by a firework. I'm, I, I'm, we're gonna buy. I think we're gonna buy fireworks and just fire them up at the park that's just behind us. I don't like. I don't see the so, point of fireworks. So explain now. Guy Fox day. So some dude was like, For... right, fuck the government. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna blow the government up. He's and gonna then blow he... Westminster. And then he was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. And then he didn't do it. He got caught. <laughs> And then, did, did they burn him, or was that just... Yeah, they burned him. Didn't they quarter him? And then no, that, that stick was, his head all, that was, on, on top of a that bike? That was William Wallace. Yeah, that was only Wallace. I think more than one person yeah. in history Freedom. got quartered. Probably, but I mean, it's like Jesus Christ, like, in crucifying. Like, I'm looking up that. Loads of people were crucified, but the only, the only person you could <coughs> really think of is Jesus. So, why do you celebrate Guy Fox Day? Because, like... Is my question. Yeah, why if you do tried you to blow up the government, yet yeah, you guys still follow... Cause, no, because we, we, like, we caught him and we burnt him. Yeah, That's why, like... So, you him. basically... Yeah, we sell... You're basically celebrating uh, an epic fail well, from what, Guy. What, like, people do is they build a giant bonfire and then get, like, a... They get some old clothes and probably make a scarecrow. And they kind of, like, put a Guy Fox mask on them. Masks? And put a guy fox fox mask on him, and then they burn it, cause it's like, hey, fuck you, uh, you tried to blow up the government. According to Wikipedia, he was also known as Guido Fox. <laughs> 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 I Guido's. did not know that. That is that. Apparently, is, that was a name he adopted while Sp- fighting for the Spanish in like the Netherlands. Guido. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Guido. <laughs> That's a stupid fucking nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Guido <laughs> God damn it Mikey God Alright All um, I see is like a big greased up Persian dude oh. from like Jersey Shore <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what if I Maybe that's the like real that. reason they killed him Well that's, that's actually probably the whole story behind the like bonfire then because you know they, they like I don't know some guy like lit a cigarette next to him and he just went up he was all 
like <laughs> oiling <laughs> all his hairspray and hair uh, products yeah i didn't know uh i thought phrases you know if like you get like a can of like hairspray or like deodorant or whatever you know it's flammable and you can like put a lighter in front, uh-huh. in front of it and make like a flamethrower I, I thought you had to keep the lighter in front of it but you don't nope uh yeah just gotta get it started <laughs> yeah uh, you can also relight uh, a candle from like the the smoke trail it leaves after you blow out. Which is really cool. I yeah, didn't know interesting. That one. Must try it out one day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. This was the science portion of our podcast. Yeah, we're not going to talk about anything science related again, ever. Why not, Mikey? You're doing science I right am now. Doing science yeah, right yeah. Now. Michael well, is currently doing a physics. <laughs> like assignment that is due for five and it's currently quarter to three i have two hours in uh 15 <laughs> minutes for two hours and 15 minutes to get this done also i might i might fail miserably the first time so i might have to restart it which would take longer and uh don't want to be doing that yeah so you know if i'm quiet don't worry i'm not dead i'm just good my brain news everybody on fire <laughs> oh finally i was waiting for some good news <laughs> YouTube has 60 FPS playback. No, I don't care. People really? Who, yeah, it does. It's, it supports 60 now. No, I don't get why that's a big well, deal. Well, watch it in like for this video in 480, and then try it in 1080p 60. I can't. My internet's too shit. <laughs> yeah, your internet's too shit. I'm talking to Jasper if he can manage it. <laughs> Yeah, dude, like, my internet is the worst internet in a car. Logan, plan. I'm not gonna open that video. Logan's now. getting like some kind of like dial-up speeds. <laughs> my ping is uh, fourteen hundred. That is pretty <laughs> ridiculous. I had that pin like a pin, a ping that high once when I was playing uh, Left 4 Dead on PC. Yeah, I had like a one K. I think my ping is only like that because I'm uploading a video right now. That's oh. probably the reason. Yeah, that might explain a lot. <laughs> All right, so that's I was it supposed to do it last night. So 1080 60, you said, Jack? Yeah, or 720 60. I'll do, fuck it, I'll do 1080. And then watch it in 480 and see, see the change. Well, I watched it in 480, and now I'm watching it in... All right. There's definitely a change. I mean, if I had the it's internet a, it's a to shit ton do smoother. it, I would watch it. Yeah. Because I was watching... All right, uh, um, the, yeah. I was watching the how-to video that Joel and I Adam last... did in the creepy warehouse. <laughs> that was I, have, I haven't seen that yet. Don't, Poor don't, Matt and don't, Jeremy. Don't, don't, don't spoil it. But, yeah. I, I actually, I don't know why. But, uh, I, haven't watched I was watching that. How-to. Sorry, sorry. And even just like the flip between 720 and 480 is like major difference. The thing is though, I still normally just watch it in 480 because I don't it, it's good enough quality. I'm like, you know. <laughs> when you're like about... I at least... A foot away or two feet away from a 24-inch monitor. Yeah. And you're always watching in full screen. Yeah, I, I guess. Fair enough. I, I think those people are weird. Are you one of those people, Jack, who like always puts a YouTube video on full screen? I don't do it to every YouTube video, but if it's like a long one and it's like got... <laughs> high quality visuals i guess to shorten it um then yeah i would watch it in full screen yeah i'm with jack i don't i don't i don't bother i, I don't really i'm with mikey on like this I, I was watching i was watching the outlast video because they have this small little uh face cam and then they had like another camera and it's harder to see them if it's not yeah, full screen i guess fair enough with that so i just yeah. do full screen and i always have to have it 720 just because it's my cleaner looking <laughs> My computer can never... If I want to watch something in 720, I have to actually physically move my computer downstairs. And I'm not going to watch <laughs> videos downstairs because then I'll get bored. Yeah. So, uh, that's... It's, it's 420. Can't watch porn. 480, 480, 480. Is, is <laughs> 480. 480 is the max that I can do in my room. Yeah, also like 480, it's just kind of it's like... Less, <laughs> less, of a str- less of a strain on my internet. So, it's like, huh, you know segueing in a completely different direction now we're talking about 420 i have a 420 story that i want oh, to tell did, did you get blades oh 
I got Blaze. Nice. Week, think, a week or two ago, <laughs> and um, so first, first I was playing Cards Against Humanity with a couple of friends of mine. Like, wait, quick question, quick question. Was it your first time? No. Oh, no. Okay. I've okay. played a. Uh, every chance I get, I blaze, but <laughs> <laughs> that's not the point. The point is that um, we were playing some Cards Against Humanity at friend's house and um of course me being an idiot i was mixing all sorts of drinks oh, oh danger. sorry. And, dangerous uh, that that was a dangerous beginning and a so friend drunk of mine and blazed <laughs> yeah you'll you'll get uh, we'll get to that later all in the right. story and a friend of mine he, he brought some uh according to him some quality quality <laughs> Kush, some, 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 some dank <laughs> Kush. Kush. that's some dank shit <laughs> you, 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 so, son <laughs> So we decided to, after playing some Cards Against Humanity, we decided to go downtown, have a couple of drinks in a bar. But first, of course, we wanted to (laughs) blaze it up. Fair enough. So we found a nice little spot to blaze it up. And um, so we passed it around. You know, feeling good, feeling good. Getting the usual high from from that 420. And then we decided to go to a bar. And that's when it kicked in. (laughs) Jesus. I think I, I was there for about 10 to 15 minutes at the bar, um, according to my friends, because this is all hearsay. I remember barely anything from that uh, event. Um, I ordered a, an, uh, a pint for myself, did not touch <laughs> it, went to the to the toilet, and this is, I, I remember leaning against the wall like, I'm going to be sick, please, do the <laughs> stall, get the fuck out. <laughs> he got out of the stall, I got in. And I, I, w- I was feeling so sick, and I'm like, all right, if uh, in my mind this is how I my thought process went. Then if I don't vomit right now, tomorrow is gonna be a bad, bad day. Uh-oh. So I just <laughs> I just did everything I could, you know, finger deep in my throat, <laughs> and I just vomited oh, all over the toilet because I was so sick. Uh. And <laughs> then I was I was feeling feeling better, sort of. So um, like Jasper, can I, I just? Just interject for a minute. That's what's known, as I've been told uh, by friends, that's what's known as a tactical chunder. Tactical right? whitey. <laughs> tactical whitey. <laughs> or a tactical whitey, yes. But, um, it was indeed very tactical. I don't think I've ever tactical. heard of that. Basically, no, right, right, right. A tactical whitey or a tactical chunder or a tactical sphere or whatever you want to call it. I would it's say when you force better. yourself to be sick so you can keep on drinking. Oh, I didn't <laughs> keep on drinking because I went back and uh, apparently a couple of my friends they bought a pizza so i bummed a slice of pizza as you do oh. right afterwards i decided i'm still s- i'm still not feeling well so i was like fuck you guys i'm going <laughs> home <laughs> i really need to get rid oh, of my wow. hangover should, so. I, should i talk about tuesday uh yes you should please talk do tuesday. Tuesday. right okay so uh, that was uh skin tuesday wasn't it yes skin tuesday right skin tuesday over here in dundee where i now live uh is basically the, the Dundee University runs a student union and it has a club and it runs Skin Tuesday. You can get in for one pound and every drink is a pound, basically. So, cheap drinks, cheap Ew. entry, you're ready to get fucked, basically. Oh, yeah, I, I get the concept from my old college yeah, days. Yeah, right. So, the I'm... Grandpa, Grandpa Jasper, you know? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Don't make me feel older than I'm, I'm already. I'm with a friend yeah. of mine, Connor. Michael knows him. Or Mikey, I mean, know them. And, like, we don't go to the union just yet. We go to a bar first. And, you know, it was pretty nice at the bar. And I have a few drinks. Then we go over to the union and I have a few more drinks. Do you want, do you want me to rattle off all the drinks I had? Sure, go ahead. Okay, so I had a, a vodka and lemonade, two Jack Dean Cokes, two rum and Cokes, six Sambuca shots and five Jaeger bombs. Ooh, and two shots of Bacardi. Jesus, Holy shit. That is a lot. And... How much money did you spend on all that? Twenty to thirty pounds, pounds, which Jesus. isn't really that a lot. Yeah, for what of. for what you drunk. That's like. actually yeah. fucking awesome. That's, yeah. Uh, right. The la- right. I'll tell you this. The last thing I drank was two shots of rum. Right after I drank them, I was like, "They're not sitting in my stomach," so I rush off to the toilet, and two guys were in the stalls, and I just. And by the time I got to the toilet, I, my hand was in my jumper, basically, trying to keep the sick up. Because oh. I was about to be sick. And I have somebody next to me, I'm not joking, right? 
two stalls were locked, I couldn't get in, I'm pretty much stuck here and almost spewing. And he's like, oh man, don't do that, don't do that, that's a nice jumper, let it out, let it out on the floor. <laughs> so I was like, okay then. So <laughs> This guy's got a good got point, a good let point. me just follow his <laughs> Right, so I let it out on the floor. <laughs> this is a nice jumper, this floor. <laughs> so I let it out on Someone's the floor. Someone's paid to clean it up. Alright, and by this point I honestly expected to have like a bouncer rush in, grab me and chuck me out. Right, because if you spew in the club, they are not gonna keep you in. They don't want to be responsible for you, basically. And right, I I was like, shit, I'm probably gonna get caught for this or something. So I took off my glasses and I zipped up my jumper and walked out to the smoking <laughs> area. I was not caught. I kept my glasses <laughs> off the entire night until I left the club. Nice. I, I somehow survived. <laughs> I did not fall over. I did not die. I just went back to the dance floor and danced. Nice. So it sounds like a fun night. It was a fun night until I had to go to fucking Connor's flat and sit over his toilet for half an hour. Oh. <laughs> fucking professed by well, he, uh, like, Jack over here. Gets with some guy. It's probably that was like two weeks ago, wasn't it? Wait, he got with some guy. Yeah, it was one of his flatmates. It was, I don't know, Jack. That wasn't Jack. It was oh, like, was it that? What's his face? Was it on a on Monday when it was his birthday or something? Connor's birthday? No, not Connor's birthday. The other guy's birthday. I I don't know. I just saw a picture on Facebook of him with like a blonde guy. G- uh, yeah, like, it, it's a joke. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> oh, I never got that. <laughs> I'm jealous. I haven't gotten wasted in a long time. I get wasted. Like I just don't get anything years. else. <laughs> I uh, speaking of wasted, <laughs> I got wasted for uh, the first time recently. With Jack. The first time? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, right. That I, was... I fucking hated it. I, that's why I kept leaving, because I fucking hated it. Yeah, that was that was a fun weekend. Uh, yeah. You tell, because it doesn't sound all that fun. Well, uh, he was <laughs> here, over here for the weekend, basically. And yeah. I don't think he will remember much of it, considering he, like, it was his first time getting no, wasted. No, I, I remember... I remember Except too much. Blowing a bunch of dudes. Of, I, well, yeah, no, that's that's just a typical Saturday night for me. I don't have to be. I don't have to be drunk for that. Like. <laughs> that reminds me of something else that I will tell after. Um, Wait, do you want to tell the story, Michael? Since you apparently can remember it. I I, I think I can remember <laughs> it. Um. So yeah, we went over. I think we got there about like half six. So we got back to Connor's flat about seven or something. Yeah, because we went to my flat to grab my poker set first. Yeah, and, and like, Jack and, like, our other friends were like, yeah, let's start playing Ring of Fire. And uh, they they played, like, a game, and I, I was just, like, sat and drinking my Pepsi because I was like, I don't want to drink just yet. And uh, and then what was the, the first drink I had, Jack? It was... Uh, I don't know. I wasn't keeping count for you. I, th- I think it was a Jack and Coke. I had, <laughs> I had, I had, yeah, I had a Jack and Coke, and, yeah, that, that got me fairly drunk i'd say and then we we got uh we went to the shop we were gonna make riot punch weren't we jack yeah but they had but, no sunny d yeah they had no sunny d so we got fanta and so what we oh, had fan was it fanta and vodka or fanta and jack that we had fanta, fanta and vodka yeah that's not nice i was gonna say that- fanta and fanta and jack sounds disgusting no i no, it was fanta and jack no it was, was not it? fanta and jack it was fanta and vodka that apparently I can't remember. Yeah, so I had I had a I think I had two Jack and Cokes and then that Fanta and Jack, and then I was I was fairly drunk by then. No right, right. There was a few other friends with him, right, and we all know each other. And there's another guy there, Liam, who also doesn't drink. And have you guys ever played Ring of Fire or Kings, as it's called somewhere else? Yeah, I've played it before. Is it with the yeah, circle? Not, and then... Yeah, fun yeah. game. Right. Basically, yeah, right, that was sarcasm. It's not you, a fun. If game. you pick up an ace, right, the waterfall <laughs> happens, and oh. oh man, right, waterfall. Basically, the person who picked up a card starts to drink, and like you go around clockwise, and the per- basically the person <laughs> to your right can't stop. Oh, okay. The Until, person on his right yeah. stops as well. So yeah. if I stop, then the person on my left can stop, and then when he stops, the person on his left can stop, etc., etc., etc. So pretty much, the yeah. person who picks up the card is just a dick and doesn't stop drinking, so no one else can stop <laughs> drinking. Yeah. That's the best part. Yeah. So Liam basically has never been wasted in his life. He's also about, I'd say, between maybe about nine or ten stone, and he's about five 
eight or something. Uh, so just to compare, so just guy. to compare, I'm five foot ten and I'm about eight and a half stone. Okay. So yeah. All right. First time drinking. First time well. drinking. He's like, like halfway through so the he's waterfall, a lightweight, basically. and he has to. He basically puts down his drink and runs out, and he runs to Connor's flat. Yeah, so he can be up. and throws up in his flat. Comes back and decides he wants to keep playing. I'm like, are you sure? Yeah. I wasn't gonna stop him, but <laughs> he was like, I'm fine, I'm fine, don't worry. And I was like, okay. Usually after you hurl, that's, that's, that's when you that's stop. About the time you want to stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember I played that with my friends uh, one time, and I have a friend of mine who usually doesn't drink only on some occasions and that was one of the occasions where we kind of forced him to drink <laughs> peer pressure <laughs> he, nice. he peer pressure yeah. he was uh, on the toilet for a half an hour sitting there completely miserable uh-huh. first vomiting then keeping spitting into the toilet <laughs> because he was so sick uh-huh. <laughs> and they the, the funny thing is um this was at a friend's house of mine and um everyone except me stayed there and uh, I went home. I was really drunk, but I went home at like 3 a.m. But they stayed there and they crashed on the couch. Apparently, the the one who was sleeping on the couch got sick in the middle of the night and vomited in someone else's <laughs> shoe. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Until this day, they, 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 they keep going back and forth. It was your fault. It was <laughs> you who vomited. No, it was <laughs> you who did this. Uh, I think I've only then, vomited once from drinking and it was a new year's party but the funny thing about that new year's party was one of my friends passed out on a hammock on a back porch (laughs) and instead of puking in the bucket that we gave him because we knew he was going to be sick he leans next to the bucket and pukes right on the floor (laughs) just like everywhere and it wasn't like a small puke it was projectile vomit so it was everywhere i think in the last two months Uh, and they just went back to sleep and left us to clean it up they were like fucker i think in the last two months i've spewed like about four or five times wow well it's not really too bad considering how much you've went out and how much you've been drinking very true to be honest i'm surprised i'm not dead yet yeah, your liver's probably gonna be hating you right by now. It's because you're young. Yeah. No, you can, is, you can get years of alcohol abuse in you before you actually die. That's so. good then. I can still enjoy myself. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so, uh, yeah, about that weekend, by the way, I didn't even get to the worst part. Oh, what I, uh, was the worst part? Because I chatted out, I think that, I left for the that casino. W- one, that one night, um, that was the Friday night, I threw up twice. Um, but I was, I was I was fine. Don't worry about it. Classy man. Yeah, I so I had like three drinks. I had two Jack and Cokes and then that Fanta and vodka, and then some. I I, I was like midway through another Jack and Coke, which was like fifty percent Jack as well. It was like way too strong. And then someone drank it, and they deny like everyone there denies like they drunk it, but I'm pretty sure they did. I would have remembered like finishing that drink. So I went through the like the kitchen. No, you wouldn't. I went through the kitchen, I just saw two random drinks sitting there, and I was just like, fuck it, I'll just like, I just poured one into the other glass, I was like, I've got a new, oh, I've got a new drink now, because Jesus. that was like the only alcohol left, and I was like, I was just thinking to myself, like, I, I need this, I need more alcohol. <laughs> I want this right <laughs> Pretty now. Pretty much, yeah, it was just, <laughs> I need this in my body. <laughs> so I was like, walking back through, and then like, it was Connor started singing, uh, like the the drinking song, Jack. Oh yeah. Uh, and it, it got me to down the rest of the drink. So I downed that, and then I was just I was just gone for the night, like completely wasted. Do you know what the drinking song is, guys? Do you even know what was in it? I don't know. I, I think I it's. Do, do you want me to go might... and recite the drinking song? Go ahead, Please Jack. Please do. We like to drink with Mikey because Mikey is a mate. And when we, we drink like with Mikey, Mikey, the times we drink is eight, drink eight, seven, seven, six, six five, five. And you have to finish your drink before we start finish the countdown. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That's awesome. So he started singing that, that. And, you know, of course, due to, you know, peer pressure, I had to down the drink. And also you being drunk. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was kind of, I was completely wasted at that point. So he had to kind of get up. He sobered up. And kind of like got me in bed and like made sure I was on my side so I didn't choke him on vomit. Um, 
and I, I, like, by, by that point, I was just like, no, I'm not ready to go to bed yet. Like, I, so I, kept, I he kept, like, walking out the room, and then I kept just getting that up. Fight. No! <laughs> I just kept just getting up like, and phone. I just think as you drunk I am, <laughs> yeah. I promise. And then, um, at some point, I, I started just, like, talking about, like, random crap. And at uh... some point, they, they, uh... the random crap I was talking about, for some reason, I got into my head. Like, I was like, right, I need to get sober. And for some reason, I was like, right, if I talk about physics, that'll get me sober. <laughs> <laughs> so I, t- I started, like, talking I about... I want to see drunk Mikey. I started... I wanna see... So you, you say that, there is actually a video of this event, like, of this happening. Oh, please right, post it. No, no, it's not him. We that video so we can put it in the link. No, wait, I don't no, have the video, No, but... right, not only was there stuff about physics, he's also talking about some other personal shit as well. I did say that I it, it, it may be possible that I was bisexual, okay? No, that wasn't the other only thing you were talking about. Uh, are you talking about the phone call? Yes. Right, okay. That has some backstory. <laughs> now, a while back, another friend of mine broke up with his girlfriend, right? And he says it's because of some stuff that I probably shouldn't mention. All right, we'll call the guy, my friend, we'll call him... James. His name isn't James, but we'll call him James. And we'll call his girlfriend Sarah. Mariah Carey. Yeah, James, no, we'll Sarah. Call Mar- James, James and Mariah Carey, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> so, J- yes. James said he broke up with Mariah for for s- <laughs> reasons that it's kind of, I don't want to get into because it's kind of personal. But she says that she, uh, he broke up with her for some other girl who's like younger uh he's 18 she's 16 which is kind of weird allegedly like he says he's not going out with her but you know and she's like some stoner or whatever i don't know and um i shortly after they broke up she texts me and i've met this girl like three times maybe like i don't know her very well so she texts me and she's like you know, hey, like, how's your day? Like, how are you getting on at, like, university and stuff? And... She totally wants yeah, to see Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, maybe she's angry <laughs> at James for breaking up with her. She wants to have some angry sex. <laughs> and she wants to, like, get with me to get back at him. Uh, but, of course, Sounds I'm just going to be a decent guy and just be like, oh, you know, just text her back and be like, hey, you know, I'm doing good. How are, how are you doing? And, you know, this happens for, like, maybe... A two a week and a half or two weeks before I go up and visit Jack and whatnot, and uh, so me being completely fucking wasted decides uh, it's a good idea to text her and ask her to phone me, and uh, so she phones me and I pick up the phone and I don't remember the only part of the conversation I remember is me going me telling I, I'm like. I have a sneaking suspicion that you want to fuck me. No, go like that is how he exactly said it. That is how I worded it. I just I I, I, can't, I said that like two, two or three times. I'm pretty sure. I just and kept saying, you... "I have a sneaking suspicion that you want to fuck me." And I remember her saying, "No, that's not my intention." And then it's just kind of a bit blurry after that you handed the phone over to grant after that yeah i handed it over to the guy who the only guy that was sober there he was filming the whole thing i like to i would like to point out this guy who was filming has a very very like odd sense of morality <laughs> very odd sense of morality you, you, please you need to please have this and i handed him the phone video. and i can't remember what happened this after needs that needs to be in the link dump <laughs> i'll uh, maybe see about getting special it. feature on the chat uh, room. <laughs> Mikey, Jack, please deliver. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll, um, do you want me to text them? Uh, no, not right now. Do it, do it after. But uh, yeah, I handed him the phone, and I can't remember anything really after that. And then I just kind of went back to lying in bed and like talking about physics and shit. And uh, yeah, that's incredible. All right, that is fucking. Amazing. So the second night wasn't the second night was worse in terms of comfort. Uh, pretty much my friend got, uh, my friends whose flat we were staying at, he got drunk and locked his room and, or locked everyone else out of his room and he just kind of passed out on his bed, uh, when we were stuck in, like, the freezing corridor, uh, left to kind of just sleep 
there. Oh, that's sucks. And, uh, yeah, one of my friends uh, broke, uh, almost broke his foot, like, tried to kick the door open as well. So, like, he had to go to hospital <laughs> at, like, six in the morning, like, still kind of drunk uh, <laughs> about his foot, and he got, like, an x-ray and stuff. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I felt awful all Sunday. I was, like, still drunk on, uh, Sunday because... You know, instead of, like, having, like, Jack and Cokes and stuff, like, on the Saturday night for drinking, it was just all shots. Like, that's all I had to drink all night. I had, like, eight shots oh, or God. something in total. Um, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was, like, still kind of drunk, like, Sunday when I was, like, getting a lift back down here. And then, like, all Sunday and all Monday, I was just... <laughs> felt horrible. Now you know how I feel every Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fun but you time. do that to yourself, though. Yeah, I have to stay up for a 9 o'clock lecture. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Do you guys suck. always have, after you've been been out drinking, and when you've been, you know, when you have a big hangover, and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm not going to drink for a while now. And then the same exact thing happens the next week, even though you said to yourself, I'm not going to drink yep. for a while. Like... Well, fuck it. I'm here. There's alcohol. Why not? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever said that. Well, no. I have actually... <laughs> have uh, Shit, then I might have a problem. hangover. <laughs> I haven't been <laughs> drunk, like, since that weekend, though. I've, I've had, like, a couple of drinks. Like, I have beer in the fridge, but I, I've, like, been... Yeah, that's all I have. I've been like slowly a beer working now, through it. Like, I had, like, a beer... Like, I had, like, a beer last couple of weeks when I was watching Ruby. Which, uh, segue... The Ruby finale. Did anyone watch it? Yeah, it I would like okay. to point out that I have not been keeping up with anything. I still haven't even watched season one. What did you say? I have not been keeping up with anything versity for late since I moved uh, to uni. I'm I'm like so far behind. What did you say, though, Logan? I said I still haven't even watched season one yet. What the hell are you guys doing with your lives? Apart from having I like just, a social I life. I don't know. Just. I'm Apart usually from watching being other an actual Rooster Teeth productive content. member of society. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Uh, well, not really. I'm not. In, I'm not in college. I don't have a job. Yeah, you I'm lazy really bum. Shit right now. <laughs> like, get a job. Stop. Uh, I mean, I'm yeah, trying. A freeloader. Start contributing to society. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So Jasper, you watched it, didn't you? Yeah, you I watched. You it. said you didn't like it as much as like last week's episode, though. Yeah, last week's episode was phenomenal it was way better no nah, i think the as as a season finale it was lackluster do you think i, mean, I it was i think it yeah. was a bit weirdly paced also who who's yeah, also. uh eating? me yeah could you eat? Uh, it would probably be jack yeah because <laughs> all i can hear is <laughs> yeah all right that's like you're deep throating some like giant cock <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you, Mikey. <laughs> uh, fuck, I lost train of thought. Ruby. We're yeah, about I Ruby. think it was, it was it was a bit weirdly paced. I think. Yeah. Also, I would have liked a bit more of the like fighting. It was kind of like the way last week's episode kind of like ended up. It was like, oh no, there's gonna be a big massive like fight, and then this week it was just like over in like two minutes. And I, I the problem that I had that were these characters where i wouldn't have spent so much time for instance the character that ashley voices uh with the gatling gun oh right yeah was that ashley i didn't i couldn't pin the yeah, voice i think that was i ashley. couldn't pin the voice but yeah um but they spent way too much time on her uh i, I mean, think i i like I, the I, fact I, that we're getting to know like more of the characters though. i mean even, even just a little bit i yeah but i couldn't remember that character at all if they spend more time with uh team juniper or something no problem yeah but i guess then they did this completely different team that you haven't seen at all i, I suppose I like, yeah why why yeah i i also kind of uh the ending as well like the i, I was after the credits ending there was kind of like the i would yeah with would, the we need to talk or something yeah that's com- yeah, that, that was, was complete weird. bullshit, by the way, for reasons that I like don't want to say because Jack and Logan haven't caught up. So, <laughs> speaking about the ending of that episode, 
the new X-ray oh, and Max X-ray trailer and was amazing. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully, it's going to be fantastic. I hope that the writing is a little bit more solid than Ruby, just because it's now a comedy show. Yeah, I don't and think it's why Monty it, making it though, is it? Uh, it, it's no, no. It's it's Jordan and Lindsay, who do the right. Um, so it should be pretty most funny. of the work. Uh, yeah. I don't know who did the script, but what I'm what I mean to say is that comedy has always been RT's. No. Strong point. Yeah, strong point. That's where yeah. they came from. And with Ruby, they went to a more of a dramatic kind of approach, which sometimes works, sometimes it I, doesn't. I think now, the writing's possibly like maybe the strongest part of Ruby, though. Yeah, the writing is in some points. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes yeah, it's yeah, but not so good. So it's it's inconsistent. But when when I look at X Ray and Vav so far. Since it's a comedy show, I have more of a feeling that they are gonna gonna own it because they have more experience yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah. Or also, also from what we've heard, um, Gavin and Ray kind of they do a good job with the uh, the voice acting, which is quite good. Yeah, and also it's because they are X-ray and yeah, Rav. yeah. So that's exactly. why we associate the voices with yeah the <laughs> characters. They don't even really um, have to voice act; they just have to act normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just have to be themselves. And uh, Lindsay as well, like she is good, and I, th- I think she's. I've seen. I watched this one Craig guy. I've mentioned him before. Probably he like rants on. He gives quote unquote reviews on like each Ruby episode, and I I don't really think he knows what he's talking about. Like it's more of an opinions <laughs> kind of thing rather than a review. Most of those that's, angry that's what rant review people is. are review like that. is an opinion. Uh, you do know that. What? What did you say, Jasper? A review is not opinion. really. I mean, a review is more kind of like. No, it's exactly an opinion. That's all it is. You can base it with facts, and you can support it with knowledge about animating. And yeah. Shit, but in the end, it's just an opinion. But I think there's a difference Whether between like, like just pure opinion and like actually yeah, I... giving like a technical review of something. Yeah, that, that's what I what I get is that if you give a review and you say, all right, technical and then your your review is more legitimate I, I guess. in some way but i think i think the difference is mostly from a professional standpoint like if there's just some also, kid on youtube doing a quote unquote review that's more of an opinion but if it comes yeah, from a big company start. like IGN it's quote unquote a review yeah well no i, I yeah, guess true yeah i suppose but anyway cuz they're more well respected i guess i don't know that's just the, the point oh, I'm trying to make is he says, you know, he doesn't think the voice acting in Ruby is very good. I mean, I think there's a couple of people who kind of their voice acting's a little bit on the bad side. But overall, I don't think it's awful. I mean, it's not unlistenable. It's, it's yeah, it's not bad. Well, people but... got to remember, it's not like a Funimation yeah. type yeah, production. Yeah, that's, that's a thing that... that bothers me a bit and that's also what i like about laser team it's not purely rt yeah who work on it and that's why i have more conf- confidence in laser team being a good movie is because you actually have actors actors that are working with rt yeah and i won't that's lie why i'm I've... excited that michael's in it though and and Gavin. yeah me too that's <laughs> and yeah the uh-huh. f- I, I don't know so much about Gavin being a quote unquote good actor, but I have a little bit more faith in Michael. Michael is, I don't know. I mean, I think with his uh, voice acting. Have you watched the uh, the game time with Gavin and Bernie? Uh, yeah, but that's a long time yeah, ago. That, that, was, that, I watched that was ages it. ago. Yeah, that that's just a good example of how much of a professional Gavin actually is. Like, yeah, but most of his diff- AH is just a character mostly. Yeah, yeah, like that's just him being, being stupid. A dumbass. It's just for yeah, it's just because he can have fun with it. But when it comes <laughs> to actually something serious, I think he could step up and actually do well, yeah. like in Laser Team. Yeah, well, I mean, time, he directed like a whole season of Red vs. Blue. So yeah, but there's still a yeah. difference between directing. But it shows that it shows actually that acting. He, he's not just like some dumb idiot like guy who like yeah. messes like stuff True. up. He can actually. He knows. Like I can, his I shit. can kind of see where you're coming from. Maybe it'll be weird to see him in a serious role since you're not so nec- used to him being weird. Not necessarily. And it just kind of like just... plays off as I don't think he would be good. No, it's just that 
when you're an actor, that's something that you need to have skill for and something, I mean, it's not easy being an actor and it's not because you have, for instance, experience in the field of um, filming or editing or anything like that, that you make a good actor. It's not because you've seen a lot of actors work that you can actually be a decent actor. So I don't know about yeah. About Gavin, Michael, he's with him doing shorts though. Yeah, I would say he's done acting before. I would say you know I think I I, they're not they don't have Gavin in there just because it's Gavin. I mean clearly, if if he was a bad actor, they would have just they would have got someone else. I I think yeah, but that's the same thing you can go with Ruby. They're all decent, but are they exceptional? I I think that's 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 mainly just because like. They don't. I mean, with Laser Team, they you know raised a, a shit ton of money. So uh, yeah, I was just about to say they have the option to go. Yeah. Out and get, whereas with like Ruby, like, different actors. It, Ruby's they don't have the budget that Laser pre- Team does. Yeah. So that's that's kind so of they why they have to use in-house talent. Yeah, I know, but that's just my point. I want Laser Team to be this the stepping stone for RT yeah. to get an even bigger crowd. And I, I wonder think it will. if... I, w- I just wonder if that... If you use too many in-house names, that the quality isn't going to be as high as it possibly can. Well, the thing I'm kind of worried about is more kind of like inside jokes. Like, I, I, I'm i kind of worried that they're going to write it full of, like, no inside I'd, jokes. To be honest... I, I have faith in Bernie, and Bernie has never been someone who's, you know, basing his entire premise or storytelling or whatever on inside jokes. I, yeah, I yeah, guess. I'm with Jasper on that one. Like, the only time sure. he does inside jokes is with, like, when he did season one of RT Shorts, where they all tied together. Yeah, That's, I That's, like, I guess. the only time yeah. I really see that. I'm, I'm, and you don't hear I'm, Red vs. Blue jokes in RT Shorts, and you don't hear RT Shorts references in Red vs. Blue. It's possible that he's going to do a reference inside the movie. That is not something that I'm going to like, oh, there's not going to be any references. But to to you know make that the base level of your movie, references to other shit you've yeah. done, that's that's just not Bernie. I, I guess that's just yes, fair enough. But I, I was just kind of like worried. I was worried about the, you know, kind of the first few episodes of uh, Ruby Volume 2. There was quite a lot of, like references there was like uh x-ray and fav reference there was um i i, I would say that's, that's maybe more of a teaser kind of actually yeah that that was not Probably. so much you didn't but that's the difference is between references and basing your jokes is that a reference is something that you see but it has no bearing to the plot of the show you had x-ray and vav and uh whatever but it had no significant impact on the plot of ruby yeah but whereas yeah. inside jokes is something that you really push forward and that is something that has the, there was uh, more th- there prevalent. was the um there was the red versus blue joke though and like wh- when i heard that i was like are they gonna go for this like there, there was i there was already like a f- quite a few references to like other rooster teeth stuff and then there was the red versus blue joke where something that was like the 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 puma joke or something like yeah and and that's the thing that's n- uh, not really a reference what well, that's, that's yeah that's that's, that's, that's in like an inside joke yeah but yeah, but it's like we thing. said earlier that it's the difference between the productions laser team is going to be a major production yeah. worth two million dollars whereas ruby is just an in-house production also thing, i'm pretty sure it doesn't that have Matt- that that Matt would never allow something like that to happen. I su- yeah, I suppose, yeah. I mean, Matt doesn't strike me as someone who wants the core of his movie or whatever to be inside jokes or references or whatever. Because what they want to achieve is they want to make a a good movie, but they also want to you know, be- become a little bit more known yeah. outside of their yeah. own community. And that is the perfect way to do it. And they know it's the perfect way to do it. And they know that if they're going to use too many in-house talents yeah. or too many inside yeah, jokes like I don't, or I too don't many references to that no one's going to like it. Yeah, I don't expect to see Michael or Gavin as like a starring role in the movie. I'm just happy we're going to get to see them. And same with like a few other Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter cast members. 
but I mean, I know the main roles are going to be professional actors who have been doing it for a long time. Yeah. And that's what's going to get their name out there is that. And then I don't, you know, I don't know. Be like, because... Oh, I, I recognize uh, this guy from the laser team movie. He's also doing achievement hunter and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. But if you look, take a look at what they're cast as Bernie, Michael and Gavin are part of the four idiots. Um, that get one piece of the armor so you don't really have that much option left for other actors so i wonder what the gravitas of the point of the entire movie will be will it be them as a group and then i think it might be a little bit too much rt related or are they gonna you know focus on alan what's his name last name richson richardson that or sounds about right something like that um are they gonna focus him as a champion of earth trying to actually become the champion or working together with these idiots and that is what i wonder yeah i guess we'll just have to find out when yeah i'm releasing I'm, more information on i'm it. really excited i i kind of i'm i'm in the mode where like i don't want to know a lot about it like i want to go into this film yeah, yeah knowing i want to go as blind. little as possible i just want to yeah. i just want to see the movie and then make up my mind right there and then is this good or is this bad i don't want to go too far speculating uh, is gavin gonna be a good actor yeah. is michael gonna be a good actor are the yeah. special effects seeing, gonna be up to par it see, doesn't really matter a i just want to see teeth it. fan i have a feeling i'm probably gonna like it no matter what yeah that's but it's yeah, more yeah, of a question as, is this gonna be good for other people who aren't rooster teeth fans it's, it's gonna or be hard yeah, to I, know I hope for them. the best that's just the thing i hope for the best i really hope that this will put them on the map because they they told they told it on a podcast or something like that that they they were getting a lot of interest from professional like from investors etc so it's a good start and if this puts yeah. them on the map it's it, yeah. it helps them get their name out there i hope because day five is imagine all the possibilities too. if people know rt then they might get investors to fund for instance more of ruby which means they can hire more people that they can that they can even make the episodes even longer that they might even air them on tv they, they got once they're yeah really well known they got a lot of options for them like just how michael got recently got hired for that one anime yeah. i can't remember fairy the name, tale uh fairy tale he, fairy he tale voices, yeah. uh, sting eugene sting or something I've I've seen a part exactly. of the exactly like uh, that's that's just another example that you know they're they're getting out there as a production company not just for their content. Yeah, Michael is I've I've seen a part of Fairy Tale where they, Sting you Cliff I sorry think, Sting you Cliff where they introduce Michael's character and he does a real good job of voicing him so that's why I have more faith in yeah. Michael doing well in Laser Team than Gavin because Michael. We know him from the uh, the voice acting work that he has done yeah. in Fairy Tale. Gavin, he's still this kind of wild card. Yeah, I mean, well, like yeah, I can I can for, see for that. Michael. I mean, he's he said that for a while. Like that's that's kind of like something that he'd really want to do is like professional voice acting. Uh, whereas you know, I think Gavin's like main kind of specialty is kind of filming. You know, like working with. Yeah, I I'd, I've never seen. Gavin as someone who wants to do voice acting, for instance. Yeah. M- regular acting, maybe, but only if it's a part that fits him. I yeah. I could never imagine Gavin as a super serious guy in a movie. Yeah, that would be really weird. But, uh, and I, I don't, don't think, think... I think Gavin and probably Michael as well, at some point, would be more of the comedic relief in the movie, more than anything. Like yeah, that would be, that might be the part that's best for him is to be that you know crazy character that we know him as to just add some yeah and i think that bernie not be so serious that bernie's character is more going to be a mentor type of person rather than someone who's going to do a lot of fighting or whatever so like if just they look at the, all play their the last season of immersion seeing their uh chemistry together like bernie and it, yeah, it was good. Michael it was, 
Yeah. I also like seeing Immersion's uh, always been a show too. that I like, like. That's one of my favorite Holy uh, shit. podcasts is when you have like Michael, Gavin, and Bernie. Yeah, they're together. They're, I always love it when Michael's on the podcast. Michael is really yeah. fucking funny. Yeah. He always the has thing is, he can too. talk forever. And he I can know, talk that's one forever thing and I, about everything. I envy him about. That is so like you, fucking You cool. watch his like, full plays and all that crap, and he's always talking. I'm like, I just can't yeah. figure that out. I, yeah, but the, the thing is, not always talking, or the fact that always talking is what surprises me, but that he can keep people entertained yeah. by always talking. Yeah. He's not giving unnecessary shit. He's always keeping people entertained, and he makes up shit on the fly and everything. That's, uh, He's really that's why he works for Achievement Hunter, I guess. Yeah. Uh, fuck this. Uh, this is uh, we actually might be mistaken for a serious podcast. Shit. Holy well, shit. then again, we did mention. Yeah, did talk, Mikey, say something stupid. We did stupid. talk about anal at the beginning, so. Uh, say something stupid. I was gonna say I, I was actually really enjoying that whole movie talk. That was awesome. Yeah, that was uh fucking screenplay. You better watch out. We're taking. Fuck you. We're, no- we're coming for we're you, JJ. We're taking the number one spot on Move iTunes. Over. Fuck you. I would like to say I was silent for ten minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that. I, I noticed. Was like, what the hell were you Jack's doing? Really quiet. Well, I, also, my I was my wondering if maybe you up. just left. You logged no, out. No, no, right? Because I, I, was I like trying I said, not to point it out. Like I said before, I've be- literally not been watching Rooster Teeth for the last two or three months. I haven't watched. Like I've just been starting to catch up. Like for like two weeks of content, and I just keep falling further and further behind. And I'm because I'm just like. Ah, you know, I'll, I'll like watch you know the rest of the let's plays later, and then they release another five, and I'm just like, oh uh, no. Yeah, I've <laughs> just, just been watching the ones videos. that majorly interest me. Like I've been skipping most of the goes and the verses just because uh, they're they're not as entertaining to me. I, I I've skipped a personally. few. I like. The I verses, mean, they're still good. Like, they're just not. I like the goes. Yeah, I get. I'll give you that. I'm uh countdown i'm not really too keen on that i mean it's it, i'll watch it but it's not I like countdown. great um the countdown is not it's it's okay but the good thing is it's relatively short yeah. i didn't know that we're turning so, the actual yeah. tournament thing i didn't know that was a new series i just thought that was kind of like a one-off thing they did i don't know yeah, if they've been no, they, did. they mentioned they mentioned in one of the let's plays they said that the tournaments was like that's a new series that they'd started yeah, could be. Well, I, 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 I thought they meant that that was one of the test shows that they were doing. Well, they've done two now, so... They've done more? Yeah, yeah they, they they've did done the UFC one, and then they did Nidhogg one, didn't they? Well, I guess they yeah, did and the, then the, the, the Smite. Smite I think the Smite was a different thing, because that was, like, the whole... That wasn't just Achievement Hunter. That was, that was, like, yeah, that was it. Yeah. But, yeah, you can compare it with the Interoffice... Uh, Horse yeah, I like the tournaments. Uh, I like Bray's final screen thing. That was funny. <laughs> final never screen. Never gets old. It never gets old. Um, <laughs> so so I, everyone's just gonna like shout that at him constantly at next year's yeah. RTX. And we're gonna put that on a shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And he's gonna fucking kill himself. <laughs> yeah. I so I, I really love how Ray. Is. Uh, I love it how Ray is. Like literally, like oh, he, God, it's like he it, says why? something, and then you could just hear the, oh no, that's gonna get. That what did shit. I do? Repeat, why did I like, do this? Millions of times. <laughs> Poor Ray. Uh, also, he's I down really, under. Ray, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, by the way, in Ryan's modeling photos, because that's like one of the few things I saw from the yeah. Screen. Like the first Ryan... two were good, were okay, but the the. Uh, the gnome. the gnome Ryan's the, photos the gnome weren't gnome bad. Gnome the gnome thing was, eh. I expected like overall. Yeah, like a, yeah, like a beard a and a you know, like the point hat with. But like the problem is, fishing rod. what he described, what he described in the let's play, was not the same as that. Yeah, that he, was. Taken he said he was like dressed as a gnome after. in an enchanted forest, like standing on. Yeah, a that was. Well, they said on the stream. They said on the stream that that was like before he actually went out. To All right. Model. Okay. Like that yeah, was just but a before I think... shot, so he wasn't actually in the magic forest yet, but, yeah, but it still wasn't a gnome. The... Yeah. I think that the entirety of the picture with the enchanted forest and him standing on a mushroom, probably doing some ridiculous pose, would have made the picture 
a whole lot funnier. Now it was oh, just yeah. some guy wearing a goofy Undoubtedly. Hat. I'd like to note that we are hitting like the hour mark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We should make this a five hour. No, I I'll, I'll leave if you make it. <laughs> I was gonna say I could I could keep talking about this film thing. Like I wanted to uh, mention the Eye Blade trilogy as an example. Oh, that's actually like <laughs> I was actually really surprised with the acting in that. Like I think yeah. Chris did a really good job. Like, um, yeah, I, people were hating on it just because there was a lot of like sponsorships. But I mean, they didn't stop turning to the it. camera and go drink Pepsi or whatever. <laughs> was there sponsorships? Just, I liked it. every now and then. What sponsors did they have? I think so. I don't remember. Like I didn't even notice them. It was yeah, just well, I mean, clearly that's too not... much into it. Um, yeah, I like I really like the Eye Blade trilogy, and they're doing it was a really couple well more things. They're doing like a murder mystery kind of thing. Yeah, yeah I'm excited for that. Rooster Teeth ten, and, or and then it's ten little roosters or something, isn't it? Yeah, ten little yeah. Um, roosters. And then they're doing a like the, there's a game. It was like um, Rooster Teeth versus Zombies or something. Yeah, that's they've been the, working the with app. us. No, no, the Rooster Teeth app is something completely different. There's also well, I mean, a new yeah, I know the app. Rooster Teeth app is coming out, but I, I meant the um, like, but it's a iOS game or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's an iOS game, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, I don't but know. apparently they've been Android working well. with the studio for quite a while because Gus said that he every day or every couple of days he gets a new new build of the game where you can see yeah. the work right, progressing. Yes, that's pretty cool. so I'm, or they'll it's, mention it's something and they'll like the next day change it and send them an updated version. And he's like, yeah. Oh. The thing is, um, it's not a, it's not that they started with this idea. The game is, has already been in development for quite a while as Gus made it sound like that they've been developing and working with the de developer for quite a while and that the game is nearing completion. That's how, that's what I thought right, it sounded right. like. Yeah, but it could it's be pretty, fun. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool that they're at. Plus, know, they're coming out doing, with an app. More stuff. Uh, yeah, also, I, they're coming I out. With I an didn't app. read too much into it because I don't really use my phone. Uh, like it's for, out on Android for right now, but it's still waiting approval from the App Store for iOS. For I iOS, yeah. for right now, it's mostly just. A, I have an iOS device. Yeah, it kind of does. Apple I do too. It's mainly iOS something sucks. for. Uh, that your phone does not. Ooh, burn. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, but, Apple. Uh, right now, I think it's mostly just a video app. Yeah, it's just a way just to get all the videos. videos in one place. I might download it so I can catch so, up. They're going to be updating it regularly. Yeah, you really so. should catch up. Everyone should catch up on uh, RVB, and everyone should catch up on... No, right, RVB. the reason I haven't started Holy watching shit. RVB... I'm so far behind on RVB. The reason are, we actually, are we actually ever going to like do a proper stream of that, by the way? <laughs> Probably nope. not, because last time we tried to, it would take more than a day. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway. But, uh, now that I have actually better internet, I might be able to stream, so, you know. Anyway, I said this to Michael uh, just five minutes ago through Skype. I have to disappear. I have to go get shopping and do shit and live a life. Yeah, be like an actual adult. So. Yeah. yeah why well, we've this? been at it why for an hour, this? so we should probably... No, we should keep going. Uh, you're fine to keep be... going. I mean, I, it's just me, guys. Come on. We need to break records on this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> he was already gone for ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, I don't know. We we can. I think I've still got another couple of stuff to talk about. But now that I say that, there's pressure on me to actually talk about something. I'm probably going to forget. <laughs> <laughs> All the pressure. But pressure. Yeah, I can't handle it. Right, so I'm going to disappear then. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, bye, Jack. You know, bye, bye. Bye, Jack. Yeah, see you, I guess. Ditching the podcast. Uh, remember cool. to, you know, save your audio yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I'll edit it quickly. Like, not the podcast, but my own audio. Yeah. Bye, bye. 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 Okay, now that Jack's gone, we can actually finally get this party started. <laughs> uh, we should make it a five-hour podcast. Yes, and then, and and then that make... That way he has to edit yeah. it. <laughs> I actually think Jack might no leave. Offense. Like, I think my no Jack offense. might just tell, just tell us to go fuck ourselves. The thing <laughs> is, when you need to edit something that's that long, but once you got everything synced... There's not much editing to do. I'm, I think uh, oh, right. Okay, we should just start the, using the pops and. We need to just start using loads of slurs then. Like, <laughs> make if, sure if I was <laughs> editing, I was like, "Fuck you guys, I'm leaving that shit." <laughs> and then we get sued and arrested for I don't know. 
hate crimes. Lewd behavior. Ooh. Uh, but uh, yeah. So one of the things which you know, I guess is pretty cool because it is is uh. I actually finally met someone in real life who, uh, you know, like watches Achievement Hunter and stuff, which is oh yeah, you mentioned a pretty big deal. Was that the same guy? Yeah, it was. Uh, so I, he's in my course as well. I, I've like just I just met him, and he was like he just kind of came up to me. He's like, yeah, I like your uh, I like your shirt or something. I can't remember what shirt I was wearing. I was I think it was like the tower of pimps one i don't know i have too many sure. i have too many achievement on your shirts yeah he says like, i like your shirt and i was like oh yeah cool um and he's like yeah i've got i've got like an x-ray and vav one and i was like nice and then we started instant kind of bros. talking about like laser team and stuff but fucking instant bros. yeah i mean clearly obviously Lucky. but he like stays he stays in like the fancy like uh building where all like the rich people stay so well, that's great. Then you can Shit. bum him for fucking alcohol. Yeah, I, I guess. Else. Exactly. That's a good. That's a good <laughs> idea. But yeah, I was actually gonna go for that because I could afford it. It would just mean I have like no money to spend on anything else. But because I was like, I really want like the fancy like building. But I'm glad I didn't because no one like likes anyone from there. Like they're all, uh, Dude, yeah, jokes. pretty much. Apart from that, apart from that one guy. That one guy's cool. <laughs> You're a cool guy. But yeah, did you tell him about the podcast? Does he listen? Uh, probably not. I I've only like spoke to him a few times, <laughs> but yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I've yet like, to meet anyone friends. out in the wild. It's uh, I think three, uh, not including that one guy. I think three people have have like complimented me on my ruby hoodie. But yeah. Did they compliment because it was a nice hoodie, or did they compliment because I know? Well, Ruby. one girl was like, "I like your hoodie," and I was like, "Oh, cool, thanks." And then, uh, some other guy, I think, or maybe, maybe was it a guy? I don't know. Someone else was like, "Yeah, your hoodie, it's uh, that's Ruby, isn't it?" And I was like, "Yeah, cool." And then, like, I got distracted because someone behind me mentioned nipple tassels or something. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, Michael's like, "What?" <laughs> Yeah, I was like, does, does someone need, does someone need advice? Like, <laughs> that's one thing I never got. Like, nipple tassels are weird. Like, they're a mystery to me. Like, why? What's the point in them? No, I don't know. No, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna look that up actually. I guess they're sexy for Google some people. What's the point of nipple Function tassels? Function of nipple. Oh. <laughs> I imagine they're for strippers <laughs> mostly. <laughs> what? Functions of nipples on a fetal pig? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, fucking okay. Google. Alright, anyway, anyway. Functions of nipple. Tass. Oh. Ta oh. Tassel. They'll probably just tell you what they do, like just suction cup to your nipples. Uh, how to twirl nipple tassels. Uh, there's an Amazon link for candy nipple tassels. Um, Ooh, Ar Biden, Urban Mikey. Dictionary uh, for nipple tassels. Uh, and the Wikipedia entry for pasties. What? what? Oh, pasties are patches that cover a woman's nipples. Uh, what the fuck? Alright, anyway, how to twirl nipple? Do you just kind of, like, twirl them? Is don't there you? a YouTube video? There is! <laughs> is there a wiki how? <laughs> step by step? I don't think there's how a wiki how, but, tassels. uh... And there's a part of there's a fitness, like, YouTube channel. I don't, I don't think, like, nipple tassels are a good way to get in shape. But, I don't know, I could be wrong. Like, I mean, you be... might have to use your core. You gotta twirl your, twirl your waist. Okay, so there's a woman Something at a know. table, and on the table there's some nipple tassels, and some. Oh, they're in the oh, shape is of she gonna hearts. put them on? There's a corset. Um, she's wearing a bathrobe right now, which is upsetting. Oh shit. Okay, she has them on. Um, this this can't be allowed on YouTube. 
she's it's like not pu- showing nipples. She's it's fine. she's like pushing them in now, and now she's just she's... bouncing up and down. <laughs> what the Mikey fuck? has a boner. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, but like. <laughs> <laughs> And now she's now rock. she's saluting. What the fuck? What the fuck? You might need to put this in the ling dump. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to. And now she's going the other way. She's getting go. She's going counterclockwise now. What the? This can't be comfortable, can it? I don't know. You're the one watching the video. You tell me. And now she she has like her hands behind her head as well. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to link this. This is fucking weird. I mean, it's not as weird as, like, cake farts or, uh... Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell is cake farts? I... Uh, you know what? Forget I asked. Fuck off, yeah. Mikey. Yeah. Did yeah. Anything. But speaking of, uh, I'm weird good. as shit stuff, uh, Andrew just tweeted a picture the other night. <sighs> that was this last night of. Why of, would he do uh, that? His, Why? It was for, apparently it's for the extra life thing. Like it must have been like a donation goal. Um, yeah, no, but that's not why. The question is not why did he upload right, the pictures. Okay. How did the? Why did the? You know what I mean? I well, that's his jizz wall. <laughs> yeah, but what? Is is that a thing that he does? Like, oh yeah, I'm yeah. gonna jack off against my. Yeah, no, wall? that's what he does. He like. He like jizzes and then like he wipes on the wall because the cold wall feels good on his, you know, on his what? dick. That's why. Uh, have you never listened to Internet Box? They bring it up like all the goddamn time. I've only listened yeah, to but like I, five. I it's mean, like he ha- like he has an urban five. dictionary like um entry yeah, I, dedicated to it. It's it's a thing so apparently. T- Twitter announcement. Uh, apparently, Jack at Pop. PAX Australia announced that Laser Team will have an Australian premiere. Nice. Yeah. Due to uh, the too bad uh, for campaign. the rest of the world. I bet Michael will be happy. But um, yeah, was well, yeah he uploaded a picture of like the wall that he wipes his like jizzy dick on. <laughs> that was disgusting. That was uh, really un- under a black light. So it's pretty uh, disgusting. That'll be in the link. So time. Andrew Blanchard, yeah. right? Mister Sir. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks like a Jackson Pollock painting. Yeah. <laughs> that's something that I can never forget now. That's just something that's going to be in my head it's forever and ever. Pretty, pretty disgusting. On my deathbed, I will say to my great-grandchildren, uh, I remember seeing a jizz ball. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, Grandpa, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then I'll show them this picture of someone else's jizz so ball. There's uh, the link. Uh, just show them a picture of your jizz wall. I mean, everyone has one, right? <laughs> See, I, right? I like Andrew's no. reply uh, to everyone. He posted, you think I'm sick? You are the sick bastards that donated money to kids for this. Yeah. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. I didn't donate money, so I'm not... I, I completely... I was, I'm not I the missed the whole weekend. Like, I, I didn't I could see anyone. I did, too. I didn't screen. get that. I saw maybe, like, ten minutes of it. That was about it, and it wasn't anything going on anyway. I th- I thought I saw most of it, but I was one of these days. Re- I'm gonna watch the full 24 hours. I wouldn't do that. Just watch the highlights. That's that's what I would do, because I I started watching and it was pretty fun to do, but um, while I was watching, I was grinding out achievements in Lego Star Wars, <laughs> because shit, man, that game has some grindy achievements. But uh, I think I stopped watching at 3 a.m. shortly after the lats came on the set. Oh, I know that, I that's so the worst tired. time to leave. I mean, that's if if that's the point you tune in. When the, yeah, when the I lads know. But that's the problem. I was so fucking tired. Yeah, I guess. Like, and well. everyone was asleep, so I couldn't make any noise. I couldn't go downstairs to get something to drink, to get something to eat, to get some caffeine, so I can you know, uh, get good like. That I can keep going, but no, couldn't do that because else people would wake up and they're like, "Why aren't you asleep yet?" Yeah, I know. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, it must it must suck being 
in a different time zone. It, it does, I'm actually it does an cool. hour ahead of them now since I moved, so that kind of sucks. Uh, oh no, just one hour. I think the time difference between us has changed. Or it might not have actually, because you've, you've moved up an hour, haven't you? No, it, it, actually, it has changed. Cause I think we're. It I has. think I'm now it's seven hours. Uh, no, you moved up. No, it would be. So it's four hours, I think, now because of daylight saving times. Uh, daylight savings time. Well, it'll still. Yeah, be you, like you guys eight. didn't. So, so what it time yet. is it for you, Logan? Right now. It is eleven forty-eight. Uh so it's three forty-eight for me. So you're four hours. Yeah. So it's actually a smaller time gap yep. now between but us. You you guys haven't changed back to whatever savings time we're on right now. Me? Have me? You? Not me. yet. I think it's like November first. Yeah. Yeah, or because I I remember Gus mentioned something that this weekend they're gonna change their time zones because he he went to I think Australia once where they change it about the same time as we do, and then when he came back, the, it was really weird because he had to change again. The week after or whatever it was really weird yeah daylight saving time is stupid like we don't uh, need it anymore yeah yeah that was for that farmers was, uh, like way back in the day that was like world war Two. now you have technology or one it was one or two i can't but i think it was the first world war actually because i don't because they were like we, really. we need um people to get more shit done before it gets dark uh so they kind of it was part of uh the the dora act of 19 something i learned about it in history i've forgotten now <laughs> i'll trust your opinion it's not an opinion it's fucking cold hard fact <laughs> it's obviously i not thought it was because remember it well I, no but it, i mean like most of it's right <laughs> i always thought so that. only half is an opinion <laughs> burn i i usually i thought that they enacted daylight saving so that people would that it would have been people would have worked an hour longer shops were open f for an hour longer and people would consume more that's always the explanation that i heard maybe whether it's true or yeah, it was I always know. it was I always for like, farmers, yeah, like farmers since stuff. they would have to have like an extra hour to farm do stuff before sundown do stuff do farmer things could be yeah whatever farmers do <laughs> jack off in their field Fertilize again. Oh. <laughs> that's how. Oh. That's how it works, right? <laughs> oh. Like jizzy. Jerk off on their banana trees. Jizzy potatoes. <laughs> what, what kind of farmer? Like far. Well, I guess like banana farmers. Never mind. So when you say farmer, I imagine like. You know, like. Like corn and shit. Nah, not Wheat. corn. Like potatoes and um, carrots and potatoes. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, why Why is that so funny? Uh, just because I've never actually been to a potato or carrot farm. Neither have I. But The only you know, one I've seen is corn. Uh, wheat. Or, uh... Or I guess like, you can get, like, dairy farming. You know, like, cows yeah. and... Fucking milking them others. <laughs> <laughs> Milk my udders. <laughs> that's that's the noise that a cow's udders make when you milk it, isn't it? I don't know. I don't sure. have experience milking cows. Well, it's like milking anything else, isn't it? What does it sound like? Have you milked milk anything else? You know, then? like a cow's udders is just like nipples, right? Have you milked nipples? No, but I mean, like that's that's <laughs> what a cow's udders are. It's just like nipples. But why yeah, are they then, so long? Yeah. I don't like know. nothing else has just like gigantic like hot dog nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Some women do. Not like I not not like massive. Though. I don't. I don't think. Nah. I think you're uh, severely I overestimating the length of cow nipples. No, cow others. Um. I mean, they're they're. A they're they're, they're fair. They're fairly good. No, but I mean, like if you think about have you any seen, other. Have you seen? Have you seen a female dog's nipples after it's had, like, multiple litters of puppies? No. They're usually pretty saggy, too. Yeah, but I mean, like, a cow... <laughs> saggy tits for the win? Others are... <laughs> disgusting. Ew. Uh, they're like... quality podcast. Stop drinking milk, They're, then. like, weird, like, 
dicks. <laughs> That's like a chode. <laughs> You're a weird chode. Yeah, no, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop looking at this. Ah. Are you I know I like Google image dick, but you know. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, so what the fuck are we talking about? Daylight savings time. And how it's weird. And then we change the subject <sighs> to cow weird. others. Uh, but, yeah, uh, RTX 2015. Woo! It's change yeah, state. That's in, that's in if August. If I can get a job. Isn't it? Uh, yeah, you better, yeah, you better get a job. It's I, early August. I might be able to make it. I don't know. Yeah, me as well. Depends. It all depends. Yeah, oh, yeah it does. It does depend. But definitely 2016. Definitely. Yeah, we're going to do it. Yeah, I should be able to do 2016. I want to do 2015, but we'll find out. You need to. You, you How far away are you from Austin? Florida's quite uh, quite a while. Oh. Do you still live in Florida? No, Florida's relatively close. Yeah, I just moved uh, to a different city. So you moved city and you moved time zone as well. Yep. That's weird. Where, where I was at was like right on the border of the time zone that's for the eastern that's really weird like if you drove 30 minutes from where i lived to like the east you would have changed time zone so technically it's time travel yeah a little bit <laughs> crazy <Ooh. Cray> -cray. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was supposed to be the x-files simpson sketch <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? This the X Files thing. The Doctor Who. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Is it? No, I was doing the X Files thing. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. you were doing it poorly. Okay, whatever. Anyway, you were saying that that reminds me of I don't know one of the Simpsons sketches, one in the episode where they're they're on some kind of time board and, and the Homer keeps jumping over, <laughs> being an asshole. No, I don't. I don't, I don't watch just, Simpsons. So I don't. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I haven't watched the new uh, seasons in forever. I could. Apparently, tell you. it's really shitty right now. I've heard that too. My brother watches the Simpsons, and he said they're not as good as they used to be. Yeah, what do you expect after twenty-five years? You can't run out can, of shit. <laughs> run out of shit to make fun of. Yeah, it's still better the than uh, South Park is still relevant. Is because. They're topical and they're offensive. Yeah, but it's, and it's easier I to make content when you're offensive. Simpsons is way better than South Park or Family Guy or American Dad, by far. I I I thought I heard that one episode of The Simpsons can take up to six months to, you know, actually make it from start to finish, while South Park is just one week. That's what I yeah. heard. Don't know uh, if it's true. I, uh, I well, know. Simpsons has been on longer than South Park. Hasn't I mean, it? South Park is pretty old as well. Simpsons definitely older, but South Park is, is being made week by week, while the Simpsons are more of a... I mean, they, they can't play in that much into current affairs because the production schedule for an episode there is much longer. Yeah. Like, they've probably already got, like, 20 to 30 episodes already queued up, ready to go. Yeah, it's, it's possible. I don't, I don't know. I don't work there. 14. <laughs> that. That's 10. And then that would be... Mikey's oh. doing homework. I'm, uh... Yeah, I have an hour to get this done. And I haven't... I, yeah, I right. technically haven't even started it. Well, we've been Maybe. going for an hour thirty, so uh, yeah, we should we stop. Should probably wrap up. A new episode of Core. no, we should uh, keep going until I'm oh, done. Oh, that's a good point. What, what's a good point? Well, we're not going for another hour. Nah, the new I'll episode be done with, of I'll Legend be done of Korra. Yeah, I downloaded that earlier and I haven't watched it yet. I want to watch. But it I can't now. watch it. No, I, I don't you can't. No, right, you can't leave me now because I don't <laughs> want you guys to have to like get to go away and watch Legend of Korra and. Uh, I probably won't watch it for another few hours. I no, we're 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 we're. I still have to download it. So still. Uh, oh, yeah. speaking <laughs> of that, actually, um, the game came out. The Legend of Korra game. Has anyone played it? 
I heard it was okay. I played the demo. It was. It I was mean, it's only tight. like what twenty bucks, so it's not really a full retail game. So yeah, I, I think I, it was I, if 15, I had the money, I would buy 15 it. Fifteen bucks. But what personally, I heard Legend was the storyline was uh. I, they really picked up what? season three. Like season three was pretty good. Like season one and two was just you could. I think, like, if anyone was going to get into it, I would just say read, like, a summary of, like, seasons 1 and 2, and then just go on to season 3, because seasons 1 and 2 were See, pretty bad. 1 was okay. I don't two know. Was I, not that good. They, 2, two they really sucked. Does it was awful. Amped up the fight scenes, though. Nah, I guess, but season, season three, 3 was great. Uh, that was the, like, Spirits one. I like that one. With, that was a uh, good episode. Ne- episodes or a nah, good episode, damn long <laughs> good <episode>. season. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I think I let's be like honest, Korra is never gonna be as good as the last episode. Yeah, I I I know what you mean. Uh, see, personally, that's the thing that differs with me. I prefer Korra over the last Airbender. Oh no, you didn't. No, I I, I don't yes, know. I did. It, it's it's good, but I don't think it compares. The fight really. scenes are more fluid. I like the characters. I, I a will lot say, more. I will say that the animation is, you know, very good. Yeah, like when they first showcased style. it with like the, uh, the arena thing. Yeah. That they did when she first met um, Mako and Bolin. I'm not saying that Korra doesn't have that it's a bad show or that it doesn't have potential but in my opinion even when you talk about the fight scenes i personally think that there's more creativity in the fight scenes in the last airbender than there is in cora cora mm. there's never one I fight scene where i go like wow this is I the guess. most epic fight scene ever i While thought the, looking back ep- at the, the last episode of season three I believe when she's fighting the red lotus guy where she like yeah. goes that into the avatar that, that's, that's, that's a pr- that's a pretty cool fight scene that's that's actually a pretty it's, pretty, it's pretty where she's pretty like good, throwing that entire mountains to Aang's fight with shit. ozai it still doesn't compare to ang's fighting scene against ozai uh, that yeah, was that was pretty bad fucking amazing yeah May not compare, but Let's be know, it's it's its own thing. It's a different series. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so, I know. So. But the problem, the problem that I have with people saying it's its own thing, is that Legend of Korra takes so much from the world building yeah. from the Last Airbender, and so many characters are directly you can, related to you the can Last kind Airbender. of you can kind of go into it just you know thinking of it as something like separate. yeah that makes sense you know, yeah, they're, yeah they're linked you cannot. And there are people who say, well, it's completely different. It's a different show. Yes, but they're linked. And that's something that you always have to keep in mind. They're linked. So if if you go in, in there and you haven't seen anything of Avatar The Last Airbender, you're gonna have a bad time because there's things that you yeah. will not be that able to follow. True. So yeah. personally, I, I would love them to do something like they did with Star Wars with Knights of the Old Republic. Just go back a couple of thousand years, start completely over, build a completely new world with some recognizable aspects, yeah. and then you can make a great story. See, line. I think like one of my my favorite episodes from season three was that episode that was dedicated entirely to the first Avatar. Was that season three? I thought that was, was a pretty good episode. Two. No, that's season two. Or season, season two. two. That yeah, that yeah, was right. the season best two. part of season two by far. Yeah, p- yeah, but that was a good episode. I thought it was pretty crazy. Yeah, it was I, weird lore wise. I like th- I like the art style. It was a nice different art style. I think they could have yeah, made a whole true. like they could have made a just spin off season just about that. To be honest, yeah, and that, that was that's weird I, in terms of lore. Yeah, I I thought it was really weird that, um, yeah, just everything going from Vatu and Rava being these fucking flying kites <laughs> and etc. Yeah. That that was. That was just weird. That was just really, really weird. And how that the giant lion turtles give bending, etc. And and it was it was weird because uh, have when you I actually watched... like looked into uh like have you actually looked into um 
the asian culture and like what they used to believe their mythology that's the word i'm like yeah no that that's not because what it's I kind meant, of like we'll, that yeah but the thing is with so the lion it's turtles, not that far of a stretch the thing is that i found weird is that when i watched the last airbender when the lion troll says oh we used to bend the uh, energy within ourselves i got the feeling that everyone sort of knew some sort of bending you know, in the old days before the Avatar. But what that did is just destroyed that part of the lore and just like, yeah, uh, bending, here I give you bending. Uh, you go out there, you come back, and I take your bending away. That, I was real, that was really weird. Story wise, I, 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 I don't though. think it was as. I, I think the, the weird part for me was this the blind turtle from uh, The Last Airbender, like in the first place. Like it was just kind of kind of gave like a, it kind of gave a foreshadowing of what's to come, and like it gave more backstory to the giant turtle, instead of destroying it like you said. I it just kind of seemed like it was just pulled out of thin air almost. Like oh, here's a way that you can defeat Ozai without actually mm. killing him. Not really, because first of all, in season two, you get a picture of a lion turtle, which is foreshadowing to. The lion turtle, it doesn't come completely out of the blue. That's one. Secondly, guess, yeah. he's not like, he's not like, all right, listen, bro, I know what you're going through. This is what you need to do. No, because if that was the case, then Aang would never have lost control or regained control seconds before Ozai died because he would have known like, oh yeah, I can, I can do this. So I, it was in that moment when he beat Ozai that he thought like oh yeah now i know what to do I, I so it wasn't it really something that came out of nowhere but i, I get that you have grievances with that that you're like oh it comes out of nowhere eh. but uh, yeah overall i personally I, I see no problem with it overall i like the last airbender better than i like cora i think just be just because like if, if seasons one and two were a bit strong if season one and two were on par with three and four I would say that they were they would be very close, but just the first couple of seasons brings it down. Uh, in yeah. my opinion, yeah. I just in Korra I miss some some decent character development. To be honest, yeah, yeah I, I can. I want to know that, that not not something that oh this happens. I because like, there's many people instance, like Korra, oh, but there is character development. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. like for instance, Cora, her character doesn't really develop until the third season, honestly. Yeah, in my opinion, anyway, like it doesn't have the last couple of it's like everyone the else, last like couple everyone episodes, else, like Bolin became the movie star. Yeah, but even yeah. then, you never see that is just events happening. But what I want to know is why, because I I always compare character development to. Um, the last Avatar, the last Airbender, the episode "The Storm," where they tell uh, how Zuko got his scar and how yeah, and why right, yeah. Aang fled the oh, Air okay. Temple, etc. Th- that's a great episode because it gives them their motivation why they did that. You know, Aang he didn't just flee; they were gonna take everything away from him. Yeah, uh, and, and I, that's, that's something you mean now. I want to know why they do something and not just oh yeah this happened this happened i want to know why did you do this and not something completely different yeah, yeah I, I, I understand now i was yeah i, I must took what you said earlier but cora is a good show if 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 you like it so I- I, I like this. I like this saying. I like the kind of like steampunk. Kind yeah, of, but uh, have, have you yeah, guys noticed that sometimes in the animation when they, I don't know, it was season one or two, something like that, when they introduced that giant robot fighting thing, that you can see that it's completely two different styles. The robot is one style, and the background and everyone else is. Oh that yeah. Bother, yeah. Did that bother? Yeah, I, I, I the shit out of you mean, as yeah. well. Like. It's like the robot. Yeah, is something 3D. like it's. Comp- yeah, kind of because it's it's like when uh, those old cartoons when you would look at the uh, background and you could tell something was like yeah about to because pop out it's of a rock different. Just yeah, because it was different. that was way worse. It, it kind of it, it was kind of like that. 
Yeah, I I, I can <laughs> yeah. know what you mean. It was like 3D animation mixed with 2D animation. Yeah, I was like, what the hell is this? Almost. But overall, if you like The Last Airbender and I think you want to see more, definitely check out Korra. Just don't go in with the same yeah. expectations. I like Korra more, but at the same time, if you if you at have the same time, I like Jessica <laughs> Negri more. So, <laughs> if you have I'm a sure short uh, kind of like attention span, or you're not very patient with like shows waiting on them to get good, I yeah, definitely just read like a summary of like seasons one and two, and then just jump. Yeah, into I would three. suggest you, that you can always because it took back. me a couple of tries to actually get through. And you can always go back in the end if you're like, oh, I really want to know what happened. Just yeah. fucking download them. Yeah. Watch them on Nick.com or wherever that they host it. Nickelodeon. Sorry. Uh, Since for some reason Nickelodeon decided to pull Korra. Yeah. But uh, yeah, why? I think... Th- why was the, that? The, no the, idea. The strange thing is that they pulled it from cable mid-season and decided to host it, everything on their site. That is what everyone thought was like, what the f- don't we get any more Korra? Because after the first season yeah, they renewed it for three seasons, <laughs> so everyone was kind of scared, like, don't don't we get any more Korra? Is, is, is this it? What, what's going on? That was what people were afraid of. Yeah, I was afraid they were canceling it, like, I didn't understand like what the hell? Why are you all of a sudden pulling it from TV yeah, after you renewed it? I think um, because it because they said, it was a weird they said decision like oh yeah part. the ratings aren't what they they should be or whatever. But I think their their ratings for Korra are sort or less the same as they were with Avatar: The Last Airbender. So I was confused why they would give that as a reason to pull it. Yeah. I think uh, they had like a really big problem with uh, beginning of season three. I think like they they did a really poor job of kind of like promoting like the new season, and like no one really knew like what was happening oh, yeah, with it, like right. when it was being like released and like premiered and stuff. Uh, yeah, I remember that now. Nickelodeon wasn't doing their part for advertising. Yeah, so I think that maybe like dropped kind of. Uh, the ratings. Maybe. That's right. I remember now. You right. But it's a decent show, nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. Apparently, Varric is going to be awesome uh, this episode, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. Just a yeah. lot more to go. No. To be honest, Ferric was yeah. the most interesting character from the entire series. And he is actually what made the second season bearable. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, pretty, done some pretty interesting yeah, stuff also, this season. Julie, do the thing. Still one of the best <laughs> catchphrases from... <laughs> 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 Especially when they're in that suit and she throws money outside of the ass. He's one of my favorite characters. He is, he is the best. In, in the beginning, they... they <laughs> played bowling up as this comic relief but he didn't deliver in my opinion and now they're trying it with Farrick and Farrick does indeed deliver when he's on on scene yeah uh, I don't know I think Bolin's a pretty good comic relief yeah character. but he's he's no Sokka but like no, no. I can't help it yeah. Sokka was I, I said it before but like the good thing about Sokka was just like he wasn't just comic relief; though. Yeah. he was an actual character he, he was, as well, who was funny at his, at his sarcasm times. is just amazing. The fact that they actually put him in—that's kind of how I see Bolin. Like he keeps yeah, the group together. Yeah, he doesn't. I guess he keeps it together, but he's not the same figure as Sokka is in terms of, you know, funny, witty dialogue. Sokka oh no, has, no! Don't I, get me I, wrong. Sokka has amazing parts of dialogue that I can rewatch over and over and still laugh my ass off. Cut that out. The uh, the the uh, the just the, the like every um the episode where he gets like high on cactus juices. Friendly mushroom. Is, uh, <laughs> friendly funny. mushroom cloud. 
<laughs> Maybe it's friendly. <laughs> yeah. That is just amazing. <laughs> and when he licks the at, at the, the end. quenchiest. <laughs> Drink cactus juice. Right. It'll quench so you. So we've been going it's for almost two quenchiest. hours, so we should probably wrap up. Are you? Ch- we're not. We haven't been going for that long, have? Oh fuck yes! An hour and four. It's minutes. going on an hour forty-five. Yeah. So all right. We should probably go ahead and wrap up, just so Jack doesn't get pissed at us. I'm mean, no. He's gonna get pissed at us. Poor for, Jack. for sure. Oh yeah. Just, I mean, it's almost two hours. <laughs> I would be too. Yeah. Okay. So to wrap. Remember, it up, kids, drink cactus juice. It'll co- it'll quench you. This has been the chat room podcast. Also that. It's uh, yeah. De- definitely do it. If you find any strange liquids lying around, just just drink it. Take it into your body immediately. And um, take like Mike did. <laughs> If you find two mysterious drinks, just mix them together and drink it. Yeah, quench you. That it'll uh, it'll get you going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think that's I think that's that, that's good. That's a good message to message to be given to little kids. Little kids just, don't you know, listen to this. Any sort of liquids, just I I hope not. If they do, then holy shit, <laughs> they're gonna be just a lot more ed- kids. Gonna be a lot more educated about life than uh they were going in. True. Mommy, what's an anal? <laughs> uh, what right, but n- thanks for listening, what everyone. What are nipple tassels? <laughs> like, seriously, I don't even know. They're just like, what's the appeal? And, and let's cut. end on that high note. Are, are we actually yeah, stopping? We're stopping now? Check are we, out us yeah, on that, that, Twitter, Twitter chatroom podcast. You know, Twitter, we never use website. any of that, but still. I would not the website. Do, do, do the website as well. We're, we'll have it up and running at some, some point. point. Soon. Maybe. Someday. Possibly. Yeah. Someday. Bye. Someday. Okay. Yeah. See you. And Later. <laughs>